It's has changed so late last year that um, a lot of the teams weren't able to, to change their tanks. But um, yeah, I think the, I think the McLaren should be all right for fuel for for one stop. Right. Well, you started third on the grid here, Jensen. That's your best last year. It was uh, quite a dramatic start. So it must be a lovely feeling to, to sit at the front and not have too many cars in front of you. I wouldn't want to be sitting at the back. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's one of the best feelings here. There's a lot of glamour around Monaco as well. And it's, um, you know, you're probably a little bit more hyped up than, than the other races. So there's a lot of pressure there, a lot of tension. Uh, but a great, great time when those lights go out and it's just you and the circuit. How calm are you at this point? I've always wanted to know. You're bringing it round. You're just tightening your belts, aren't you? Just taking some breathing and that kind of stuff. What do you? I'm normally really relaxed at this point. You know, we've we've really got to concentrate on getting heat into the tyres, the brakes, the tyres this year because we're only running one set. It's it's harder to get more heat into the tyres. Everybody forming up on the grid. That's the view back then from your pole sitter, the Royal Box on the right, with Prince Albert in it and his family. 78 laps of this 2.075 mile racetrack. The last drivers forming up at the back of the grid, as you can see, it's on a slight curve, the start line here. Engines well, are cooking at this point, just the temperature sailing skywards. Must seem an eternity sitting yeah. on the front of the grid. Watching it here actually feels longer. Well, they've worked hard up to this point, but this is where the hard work really begins. The Monaco Grand Prix begins now! Good start by Raikkonen. Alonso not so well away, but he's fighting him. He's looked on the inside and on the outside. Fisichella has jumped Weber, and so has Trulli. The two Williams are side by side up the hill. A terrible start for Mark Weber, but that's great news for Fisichella. Everyone follows through. It looks like they've all got through cleanly as they go up for the first time towards Casino Square. Raikkonen leads. Intelligent driving going in. Everybody realizes you can only lose the race on the first corner. You can't win it. But Alonso did his best, didn't he, to find a way through. Raikkonen had him covered, Jensen. Yeah, I mean, the start of the Renault has always been very strong, but the McLaren looks like he's very close now. As you said, the big loser was, Hy was, uh, was Weber. I mean, that was a, a, astonishing how many places he lost there. Two places. Yeah, he's gone down to fifth place. Raikkonen leads. Alonso second. Fisichella third. Trulli fourth. Weber fifth. Heidfeld is sixth, seventh is Coulthard, that's where he started. Eighth is Michael Schumacher, Massa is ninth. He's got ahead of Barrichello, who has also had a very poor opening lap, Rubens Barrichello. He has gone from 10th down to 11th, dropping a place. Villeneuve is on the move as well. Montoya already up to 12th place then. He's had a stunner from the back of the grid. Found his way through quite nicely. Raikkonen leads from Alonso. Fisichella, truly. Weber, Heidfeld, Coulthard maintains seventh. Here is a replay of the start. See Weber very slow away there. You can see Trulli going round the outside of him. Once again, that Williams start system just doesn't work, does it? They've had a few problems this year with the starts. Uh, it's obviously helped us quite a bit because, he, because Weber's been very, very quick in qualifying. But uh, no, that's pretty disastrous for the team. I